Hey there, welcome to Slosh.Dash. Now over the last week I've been playing the online beta for Pro Evolution Soccer 2018 and we're going to run through some of my thoughts, feelings and impressions after some game time with it. So, I've got my kit on, we're ready to go, let's get into it. So in Pro Evolution Soccer's online beta for 2018, you've only got the choice of two teams. Um, that's fine, obviously they're just wanting to test out the servers and stuff and test out the gameplay. So you've got the choice of France and Brazil. Now Brazil are actually rated slightly higher, but I prefer to play as France um, because I feel like they're more of a balanced team and I've just got used to playing with uh, their players especially Giroud, who I'm a big fan of in Pro Evolution Soccer. As you can see, the tactics menu is pretty much the same as in previous years. No changes there. All of the tactics are the same, and the uh, just the general layout, as I say, is the same. Uh, the form bars are the same, with red being the worst, and I believe, is it green the best? No, blue's the best, green's the second best. So that's stayed the same as in last year's game. So graphically, I, I haven't noticed really any difference. Although when you look at some of last year's graphics compared to this year's uh, on the side-by-side -side comparison that Konami have released themselves, there seems to be an improvement. But I think those players in particular are the new face scan players. So that means obviously... They sit them down in front of their cameras and put the little little ball things on their face so that they can track their facial movements and whatnot. So I think that's maybe why some of them look a lot better. People like Griezmann, I don't think he was face scanned last year. Um, and this is to do with licensing that Konami gets for the game. So as I say, every year now we've covered Pro Evolution Soccer for the last two years since this channel's been up and I've said it in both videos, it's difficult to judge a game that has incremental changes year on year, you know, with it being a yearly released game. There's always subtle differences, never wholesale ones. Uh, but actually, having played the beta now, I've played about 50 games in it, and it seems like they've gone for a big wholesale change this year. Now, I've been really enjoying Pro Evolution Soccer since about 2014 when the Fox engine came into it but it does seem that they've gone back to slightly old style uh, on a few things particularly the free kick system and the corner system and the penalty system all seem to have gone back to an older style that was present in previous Pro Evolution Soccer's that's been missing for the last few years now I've had difficulty with the penalty system, um, but having had a few penalties in this year's beta, I haven't really got any better at them. So to me, it's not really much of a difference, but I'm sure to other people it will be quite a big difference. Uh, the, the free kicks certainly feel a lot different. You don't seem to have the guide, unless I'm missing something, you don't have the guide uh, shows you where the ball's going to swing to you have to apply your curl after you've applied your shot power uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to having to readjust back to that sort of system uh, it's the same for the corners i've managed to score quite a few goals off corners now and i really struggled on last year's to score any at all so that's a good improvement in my opinion it seems like overall that the general gist of the game is that it, it's more of a passing orientated game now. Uh, it's been going that way in the past few years. I remember once there was a time when you could just absolutely blitz through with certain players and they've stepped away from that. The only thing that in this year that's remotely like that is the trick stick. Now, you've been able to use the right analog stick and L1 to apply um, tricks. So twists, turns, Cruyff turns, stuff like that. And uh, that's been available for years now, but it's never quite felt that right to me. 
so far in the beta, I've been managing to take on a lot of people using the trick stick. So it seems like they've really wanted to utilize that, especially on certain players like Griezmann, like Pogba, Ronat, like Neymar. You know, those sorts of players tend to be able to pull off the trick stick. I'm sure players like Messi and Ronaldo are going to be ridiculous with it. One big change that I've noticed is the fact that you don't seem to be able to score quite as frequently from crosses. Now, on last year's, it was a little bit overpowered. Uh, people just tended to play the crossing game all the time. And when you played online, you noticed a lot of people's play style was long ball. Um, that seems to have been slightly altered. He doesn't seem as overpowered now. I've still managed to score some headers from crosses and corners, but it's certainly not as prevalent as it was last year. They certainly seem to want you to pass the ball, play one-twos to get towards goal. One-twos in particular have become very much my favourite thing. You, uh, you tend to be able to rip teams to bits using the one-two system. And uh, the chip through ball again is back in the game in a big style. I couldn't use it as much last year, I don't know why. But this time round, so far, I've been able to use the chip through ball very effectively. And that's why I've been scoring a lot of goals with Giroud. Initially, I found that shooting was another one that I had to get used to. I don't know why, because now I don't really have a problem with it. But at first, it just seemed like your players were continuously shooting straight down the middle. A little bit of adjustment is required, and you should be back in the swing of things fairly soon. Little aesthetical changes to the layout in the game, uh, such as the stats that pop up on the menu. Never really been a thing that's bothered me, but I know my brother was quite keen for them to put that in, and they have done. So he's rather happy with that. It's nice little touches, I guess, that just makes the game a little bit more interesting. They seem to have also added in passes made uh, into the stats menu. So after a game, when you look at your stats, you know, shots on target and stuff like that. There's a passes and a passes made section, which again, didn't really bother me, but my brother was crying out for them to do. He even tweeted at uh, Konami, our official Pez. So he thinks that he's had that input there. I haven't had to wait too long for any games uh, on the online beta. It seems like enough people are playing it. Although, my brother, again, he said that he's had to wait quite a long time sometimes for a game. As I say, it's not been the case for me, but I suppose it maybe varies for different people. I also like that the second man controls uh, shows a little marker above the player. So, obviously, you've got your main marker, which will be blue or red, on the main player that you're controlling off the ball. But there is a second marker. Now, I'm sure it wasn't in last year. Uh, so it shows where your second player is. So when you press X and square to apply pressure, you'll see both men running towards the ball. I have to say I'm really looking forward to the release of the full game. It seems like they've realised that most people are playing the game online now, hence why they've released an online beta rather than a demo. It's got me hyped for my club this year. Um, I did okay on last year's. I got to Division 1 uh, twice. And I've never done that before, but having played about 50 games this season so far on the beta, I've only lost about 5 games, drawn a couple and won the rest, so I'm really excited for my club this season. Let us know what you think about the online beta for Pro Evolution Soccer 2018. want to know what other people are feeling so far after it being out just over a week. Do you think it's any better than last year? Are you thinking it's worse? Will you be buying the game on release? What are your thoughts? Make sure to subscribe to Slashdot.Dashdot for more gaming videos. We will be bringing you more Pro Evolution Soccer in the coming months. And check out some of our other videos available right now. Thanks guys, see you in the next video.